You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Ingrid is wondering, is brain cancer hereditary? Hmm. That is a great question. Um, I think what I what I can say of the you know as far as what we do know, uh, inherited mutations that happen in families are typically based on. Um, dysfunction of the, the DNA repair pathway. And so these are genes such as, you know, the well-known BRCA1 and 2 and ATM. Um, there's a bunch of different genes in this pathway of repairing damaged DNA. And when those genes that repair and, you know, investigate and fix this damaged DNA um, are mutated, they don't function properly and they allow certain mutations to occur. Yeah. And those mutations can cause um, oncogenes to you know, stay stuck on and also prevent tumor suppressor genes from working properly. Mm -hmm. So what we do know is it ba it's based on the mutation. If you inherit a mu mutated gene like this, then your chances of getting all kinds of cancers go up, including a brain cancer. Ah, I see. So it's not so much that you inherit brain cancer. You inherit, you inherit genetic certain... susceptibility, and it may um, manifest as a brain cancer. It may manifest as a breast cancer. It may manifest as you know, liver, yeah. bone cancer. So that's a really good point because, uh, you know, we'll hear from people who say, well, you know, I've been diagnosed, say, with, um, okay, so I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. And, uh, and then you'll say, um, okay, well, is there any history of cancer in your mm -hmm. family? And mm -hmm. you'll say, well, you know, my dad died of colon cancer. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, his dad died of something else. Mm -hmm. And so they're naturally not thinking anything about inherited mutations no. because they're thinking, okay, it's not the same type of cancer. Exactly. And what you're saying is that's not the that's way. That's not the case. <laughs> no. Yeah. If we've got no, you know, one person in each generation with a mm -hmm. cancer, we probably want to at least stop the one. And inherited familial mutations, germline mutations like that, tend to produce very strange cancers, cancers mm -hmm. that are rare and unique. Yeah. So whenever we see a cancer that is rare or unique and you know doesn't occur a lot of the time, um, we always look for germline mutations. Yes. I mean, we always look for germline mutations in everyone yes, anyway. you are very thorough. But we'll do a larger panel in those cases. Okay, right, because the, there's some, you're, now you're really suspicious. Now we are. Because yes. there's something's yeah. going on there. Right. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.